all right welcome to this video now in this video i'm going to show you how you can upload your qgis or you how you can sync your qgis project with killfield cloud all right now it's easy to work with killfield offline but then if you want to work with killfield online or using killfield cloud it's much much more um should i say efficient all right for me now um you need to have internet connection for both your phone and your um both your phone and your laptop now i'm going to show you first how to do it on an ios device then after that i'll show you how to do it on um, an android device all right i don't know which one will come first let's just see how it goes now i have this project i want to um I have this project I want to sync on Killfold. It basically entails a, a base map, which is from OSM, and then this shapefile I created. Okay, now this shapefile um, is currently empty. I have not added any records to it yet, but whatever pharmacy stores I map out, they should be up. Uh, they should be digitized into this particular shapefile pharmacy sites. All right. Now the first thing you need to do is, like I said, create your project. And then, I mean, get an empty shape file or an already existing shape file where you can digitize onto it. Okay. Now, after that, you need to um, enable your Killfold plugin. You may not have it already installed. So what you can do is you can go to plugins and then manage and install plugins. Now, over here, keep your tab your uh, keep your all tab activated okay so just make sure that this one is activated and then over here you can search for killfold like this all right so now you see killfold sync you either enable it or install it depending on which one I, I i already installed it so i don't need to reinstall it again okay so you install it and give it a moment it will install note you need internet access for this now after installing it you need to you you can easily find it on your uh, toolbar here but if you cannot find it that's cool you can just go to the plugins and you see killful sync here now let's start with the killful uh, cloud um if you are new to it you would have to create an account or register okay so if you click on this register they will lead you to their website you create an account take note of your account details for instance your username or your email and then your password all right it's just a one minute thing you, you can fill the form in one minute and then you have your accounts created then you log in so i already know my details i'm just going to log in like this all right you might want to click on stay signed in so that next time you don't have to redo all this process all right All right, so now it says I'm signed in. Okay, so um, you can see I already have one project here. All right, you can see I already have one project here. Now over here, you 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 have the opportunity to create a new project. All right, but I always suggest to create your own project before you upload it. Then here, for instance, if I were working on this project, I would I could choose to sync it. All right, then what? what my phone has and what my laptop has i could choose to sync them so they become the same it's just like working with github it's just like that all right so um for now i'm just going to close it you can follow my videos by subscribing to the channel and consider leaving a thumbs up on this video thank you all right so now this is the important part okay make sure you've saved whatever changes you've made this is a very important part come here to the killfold sync and then go to killfold overview now in the create section or in the create button click on it when you click on it you have the chance to either convert this current project into your killfold project or you create a project from scratch okay but like i said this is the recommended way of doing it so you have your project and you're converting it into a cloud project so i'm going to hit next All right and then um they are confirming the project name so yeah it's fine you can add a description to it if you think it's necessary then you hit on create and give it a moment note you have to be online if you're offline these things you, you might not have the same results as i'm getting i don't really know which part requires online access and which part does not so i just 
uh, advise you to be online completely. All right. So now you can see the locally stored project is already synchronized with Killfold Cloud. No action is required. That means it has successfully been added to your Killfold um, 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 projects. Okay. So now you can see that it's part of our work. Okay. So you can hit on close. You might also notice that the head, the title bar is also showing that this is a Killfold Cloud project. I hope we are all on the same page. I mean, in case you're following me. So we are done with phase one. Second phase is done on your device. All right. So let's go to the mobile device. All right. So, um, this is my Android device as virtual. Okay, it's, 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 a, it's a virtual device. So it's, um, but it's an Android device. In another video, I've shown you how you can do it on iOS. Okay, I'm just showing you the Android version of Killfield. So I've already install, installed it from my Play Store. You can do the same. And I'm just going to launch it. Now, because I'm working with cloud, I'm going to click on the cloud version. If I were working with the local version, then I will click, click on the local version. I'm just going to click on cloud version here. Then it will ask me to log in. Remember, if you do not have credentials, you simply um, go to QGIS Cloud, QFill Cloud, and register an account. What am I typing here? All right. Okay, so I'm logged in. So you can see that um, we have two projects. This is the one we are working on, the mapping pharmacy stores. Okay, you see it's available on cloud but missing locally. It means we need to download the project onto our local device or onto the phone. Okay, so we are going to do that by clicking on the project we want to download and we'll give it some time. Remember, you have to be connected to the internet in order to get this to work, right? So uh, it will take a while. Okay, so now you can see it's available locally, right? So it means that the project has been downloaded successfully. Now, when you click on it, it's uh, okay. Did I do it right? Yeah, good. So when you click on it, it takes you to the project location, right? So this is the project location. Now, um, all right, cool. So if I click over here, um, you have the layers, okay? Now the one up here is the pharmacy size. That's where we'll be adding our, our pharmacy locations. And this is just the base map layer, right? All right, um, this allows you to get your location, okay? But then I'm just going to show, I'm just going to add some places because I know where they are on um on the map okay so um first of all if you want to add you need to enable digitization or you need to enable digitizing so i select on this pharmacy sites then i click on this pencil tool here that will allow me to edit okay you can see you are now in digitized mode all right so good I'm just going to locate a um, couple of places around. Okay, some place like this. I'm doing it randomly. I'm sure um, if you're doing a proper work, you would know what, where the field locations are and also how to label them. Right? Now, because... Um, what's, it, what's it called? Because I'm doing this thing indoors okay and virtually at the same time you realize that my location i mean you will not see my location all right but then if you are using kill field this button here will allow you if you're using kill field on the field or you're doing it in real um real life this button here will allow you to get your location so before you take say this feature when you get to a particular building you click on get location and it will get your location 
before you click on save all right so this green button here will save the place for you i'm just going to give it a name i'll call it farm like this all right and i click on the stick button you can see it has added something here right and then let me just add another one so on the field you would have to actually navigate your way to those places and then um, you can add them but if you know them uh, from the base map then you can do everything from your room okay but if you need to do everything from your room then you might as well just use skillgis desktop to do that anyway so farm one from two this one two here let me add another one maybe a last one here okay i can see something like a pharmacy here right so let's say there's another pharmacy click on the green button then i add from three what's this Um, three like this all right so now we have um, we've added a couple of places pharmacies okay pharmacy locations you can map as many as you need to map all right but at the end of the day you have to come back here click on pharmacy sites and and toggle editing that means you've turned editing off all right and after you are done doing that you need to upload your changes or your edits to um, Killfield Cloud, right? So you can see this cloud icon here with this three. It means we've done three edits. Okay, click on it and then you can push your, just simply click on push here. Just push your edits to the cloud. When you push your edits to the cloud and you go back to your desktop, you can be able to download it. So let's go back to the desktop and see if we can download it onto our desktop all right all right so now we can say that i mean now that we know our project has been completely or successfully um uploaded or pushed onto the killfold cloud um, using our our smartphone we can now come to the plugin again you can just go to project overview and then you can go to mapping pharmacy that's what you're working on right now okay now you need to synchronize so that you can get the updated um updated i mean data right so if you click on synchronize now they tell you what has been um they tell you what has been uh changed okay so you can see that they're saying that if this one will be downloaded and will place your local file that means the local file on your pc would be replaced with this one here so all you have to do is say i prefer my cloud data and then perform actions okay then you give it a moment then you see reopen project after closing this dialog if you click on ok it's just going to do that and then update it with what you the data you took okay so you can see that um uh, okay i think my my internet is a bit slow so you can see that what you took have been updated here you might be wondering why your symbols are different from mine it's because i chose my symbols okay so if you want to have your own symbols you should select them here and up and synchronize it with your app or your phone so that they would have the same symbols do you understand yes yeah, so that's that's how it works okay so basically um you are able to now um connect your project on QGIS to your project on your phone, alright? Happy mapping!